Hello YouTube and welcome into another part zero video, part of our one more marathon marathon. I am the game mechanic giving you the overview of these leaders, uh, talking about strength strategies and what you might be able to accomplish in your game with them. Talking about Javaraman of Kamir today, uh, one of the strongest leaders in the game, used to be frankly one of the weakest or kind of the one of the wonkiest at the very least, uh, but he's turned into just an absolute dominant civ, uh, faith first for sure, uh, but someone who can grow tall, you can do space races, you can do amazing culture or religious victories, like just tons of flexibility, just a really, 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 really strong uh, uh, Civ. I, I can't stress that enough. He's silly good. Uh, so let's talk about why. Monasteries of the King. Holy sites are granted a major adjacency bonus with rivers. So that's plus two, regardless of how many rivers you're adjacent to, uh, similar to commercial hubs. And then you get food equal to the adjacency bonus of whatever your holy site is. So if you pair this with like Sacred Path or even something like Dance of the Aurora, it could be very, very interesting. Uh, but in general, you can get just solid commercial, or sorry, commercial libs. You can get solid holy sites with just a couple mountains or a government plaza or just stacking in some districts. Um, the food adjacency plays in well with our tall strategies. We'll get to that in a second. You also get two housing if adjacent to a river. Um, this pairs really, really, really well with the uh, two, two housing and two amenity uh, river goddess pantheon. Uh, so your holy sites alone give you four housing. It, it allows you to settle weird aqueducty cities and just get that holy site and you you will eventually want the aqueduct, uh, but you don't need it right away, which is, which is really awesome. Um, you do want to give your cities plenty of room to grow as Jay, so keep that in mind as we talk about the rest of the abilities. Grand Berets is really, really good as well. Cities with an aqueduct get one amenity from entertainment, one faith for every population. Farms give two food if adjacent to an aqueduct or one faith of adjacent to a holy site. Those do, uh, they don't stack between like multiple aqueducts or holy sites, but they do, they can't, you can get the food and the faith if you're adjacent to both. Um, it's a very strong ability, pairs really, really well with void uh, as you can get uh, a bunch of faith from this ability and then convert it to other economy with your, your void uh, uh, secret society. So a very, very, very strong ability. You can start to see like the tall strategies forming extra housing, faith from population, extra food next to aqueducts, etc., etc. The Domri is a medieval era siege unit, replaces the trebuchet, higher melee and range strength than the trebuchet, and can move and shoot in the same turn. It also exerts zone of control. If you don't know what zone of control is, it basically acts as a melee unit in not letting other units move away from it, uh, which is kind of cute. Um, this is a fine unit. It's It certainly pairs well uh, with, with medieval war if you want to go that route. Um, domination isn't the first thing I think of when it when I think of Jay, but uh, you could certainly go that route. Again, you have the ability to do Grandmaster Chapel stuff, faith by units, uh, you know, dominate if that's if that floats your boat. Uh, and then the Prasat, this is, this is glorious. So this is a replacement for the temple. It gives you six faith instead of four as a temple normally would. Uh, and then you get a half culture for every population in this city. In addition, once flight is researched, you get 10 tourism if the city is 10 pop or higher and 20 if the city is 20 pop or higher. So there you go. Like the bread and the, 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 the just the icing on the cake, you get culture from population, uh, a better, a better faith output here, which again, plays into void and other, other sort of religious, uh, and or tourism strats and, uh, can give you just a massive chunk of tourism. Uh, it is not an easy feat to get 20 pop cities. It takes some time, uh, and, and religion and sorry, cultural victories will often end, uh, before you get a ton of those, but 10 is a reasonable number for, frankly, all of your cities, uh, coupled with the uh, adjacency bonus of your holy sites giving you food uh, and or internal trade routes, plus, you know, some nice farmland. Uh, so this is this is crazy. Like, as soon as you hit flight, uh, 10 tourism per city is absolutely bonkers. Uh, and then if you if you do grow taller, it's even better. So just an overall impressive kit don't don't skimp on the science if you want to go the culture route because you do need to get to flight as soon as possible uh so get your good campuses where when and where you can um 
Colosseum, you know, all the all the typical cultural type stuff plays in well with this. Uh, and you don't even have to do culture. You can just use this as a source of culture and have that drive whatever else you want. Um, because you're building aqueducts, some industrial zones do make sense. Uh, I don't overcommit to these uh, ever. In fact, I'm probably famous for undercommitting to them. Uh, but you'll want a few of those, particularly if you're going to spray to space uh, or just utilize a utilize a, a centralized industrial zone or two, since you will be on the top half of the tech tree working towards flight. Uh, so a factory effect could be quite powerful in your empire. So that's Jay, uh, truly one of the best civs in the game. Enjoy it. Uh, enjoy our series. It's a particularly fun game. Uh, and enjoy your own games with him. How do you like to play, Jay? Do you, uh, do you, do you go to space? Do you do Domri stuff? Uh, tell me. I'm curious to know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic. Join us live in person on the internet. And if like and subscribe here on YouTube if you enjoy my content. Thank you for watching.